So everybody, we're at the old German beer house enjoying some Bitburger beer. Funnily enough, I didn't know about this German beer until I came to Asia. Bitburger was created in 1817 by Johann Wallenborn in Bitburger, Germany. An interesting bit of trivia that you might need to know. Wikipedia is a great thing. But anyway, the beer is awesome. Purported to be the number one beer in Germany. I'm not sure about that, but it is pretty good. Okay. Everybody, how's it going? I'm Brian. I'm Dan. And welcome to this casual video for Thai foodies. We're going to try something out a little bit different. Uh, kind of break away from our current format and just be a little more casual, a little more relaxed, and still show you some of the great places that you can eat here in Bangkok. Uh, we're at a place actually here that I probably know better than Babe for the first time because I've been coming here for a very long time, very long time. The old German beer house in Sukhumvit Soy 11. It's a very, if, if you know Bangkok at all, you know this is a very happening soy. A lot of pubs, a lot of restaurants, a lot of clubs and discos. It's a very busy uh, little soy, a lot of fun. If you do get the chance to travel to Thailand and you want to try out some really good, authentic German beer, you should come here. It's really, really good. Really? Don't just come for the beer, which, well, we kind of well, do anyway, but the food as well, which is very authentic. And it's interesting to note and important to note that the Thai food here is so good. My, my lovely wife stands by it. She insists it's some of the best Thai food that she's had here in Thailand. So we're gonna look at the menu, we're gonna order a few things, and then we're gonna talk about it in a little bit. So stick around. Meatloaf. And egg on the side. I really love side dish here. Yeah, they're very good. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? We're okay. a pretzel, get a pretzel too. Oh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so Mm -hmm. This is the scallop, a pork scallop with uh, mushroom sauce, right? Yeah. Orders have come. We ordered three uh, dishes and a pretzel. Mm -hmm. That one is for me. Uh, for just me. have a look at the size of the portions. Very, I think, uh, authentic to German sized portions. The, the single trip I took to Berlin it was, it was like this. It was just crazy, huge portions, uh, especially compared to Asia. Um, uh, I picked one of my favorites, which is the German meatloaf uh, with uh, rusty potatoes. Uh, these are potatoes with onion and uh, bacon uh, mixed inside. It's like kind of like American hash browns, but it's got a, a little bit different flavor with the bacon. Very yummy. And they ordered one, yes. scallop, uh, pork scallop. Pork scallop with a mushroom sauce and some German noodles. Spatzel, uh, yeah, yeah, German noodles. Very nice. Very good. And then lastly, we got some German sausages. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of them. We'll check it out on the menu. Also with some rosti potatoes and some sauerkraut on the side. Pickle, pickle with sauerkraut, right? yep. And right on. And then, ta-da, my pretzel. I'm not going to touch it because everybody <laughs> might want to share. But you don't come to a German restaurant and not have a nice pretzel. pretzel. So let's dig in and give this a try and see what we think. And, no, no, no. and a fried egg on the side, which I didn't want on my meatloaf, so we put it on a plate. Sorry. You go first. Mm, crispy. So big. Why? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Very good. The sun is very mushroom. Creamy. Yes, yeah, yeah creamy, creamy mushroom, mushroom with some pepper. Then everything, mm. everything here they, they cook really quickly and it comes out super hot. Very nice. Mm. Obviously, this is not a diet dish. You don't come to a German restaurant to diet, certainly. Let me try fresh noodles. Mmm. A bit sticky and soft. Mm. Good. Nice. I love it. Mmm. Rotating, rotating, pivot, pivot. Oh. Hmm. 
So our last dish is a very German bratwurst with some sauerkraut. So they want you like that one up. Mm. Mm. I love the grilled flavor that you get when it is properly cooked. How much is more pickle? Sauerkraut. Mm. Raw sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. Loving it. Very nice. Mm. So good. <laughs> so this is my 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 selection, my the pretzel choice. It's interesting to note that we ate the pretzel last. We had everything else first, and yet the pretzel is still very warm. You say they're doing it properly. It's very nice. So let's see. Oh, is a pretzel Look just a pretzel? Yeah, yeah it's very good. It's, it's very good. I've had it here before. Mm hmm So soft. <laughs> mm. Please try. It's so good. Get the rock salt. Mm -hmm. It's not sticky at all. Yeah. So. Great pretzel. Great. Mm. Great. Delicious. So it's very soft. Mm. Nice. I really love the, the German noodle, this one homemade. What, yes. what, yeah, what, what they made from, you know? Oh, well, actually, I used to work in a, in a restaurant many, many years ago, a Swiss German restaurant, and we used to make our own uh, German pasta. Mm -hmm. And the, the way that the chef did it was they had a huge pot of boiling water, and over the top of the pot, they had like a, a grate with these little tiny holes in it, and they would mm -hmm. push the, the, the dough through. And they come through in these little bits, and as soon as they hit the boiling water, it would be cooked, and, and that's how you make spatzel. Mm, yeah, very interesting. I see. Yeah, it's nice. Huh? It is a nice. Bit soft, thick, and very nice. things up here at the old German beer house from Sukumit Soy 11 in downtown Bangkok. Um, you know what, I kind of forgot how much I like this place. I haven't been here in a few months and we had just a stellar meal. Very filling, huge portions. Um, really, no, yeah, they are pretty big. Really great, but it's a, it's a good value to have basically what is a platter of food yeah. for about $10. Some of the dishes, uh, I think they're average around 300 baht. Uh, a little, some are a little more, some are a little less. And the beer is very reasonably priced. Uh, we are enjoying the happy hour right now, which goes until 7, 7, 7 o'clock. Yeah. And having some German beer, and it's really good. And to be honest with you, we probably will have some more. Um, uh, if you get the chance to come and visit this place, I absolutely recommend that you do. It's very laid back, very chill, great beer, great food, great atmosphere. You can't lose when you check this place out. Until we see you next time. Bye-bye. And in that way.